Good afternoon everyone. I am from Maliba Pharmacy College. My name is Parth Ramesh Bhai Paramar. I am from BFARM 7th SEM and I am here to present the topic of practice school in Department of Pharmacology. This presentation is guided by my sir, that is Samresh sir. Let's go with the topic. My topic is Introduction to the Laboratory Animals. The contents of this presentation are Introduction, Classification of Animals and the Description of Animals. This presentation consists of animals like rat, mouse, rabbit, guinea pig, hamster, frog, cat and dog. Now let's go with the introduction. Laboratory animals are those animals which can be bred and reared in the laboratory under suitable conditions. Which means that the laboratory animals are those animals which can be bring their offspring in this new world and which can be handled and maintained in the laboratory under the suitable conditions. Those animals are known as laboratory animals. Some common laboratory animals are rat, mice, guinea pig, rabbit, hamster. The other animals used for the experimental purpose are cat, dog, frog, monkey, pigeon, etc. All animals are handled in human method and they should be handled with safety and carefulness. That is the animals are handled in such a way that they should not get hurt. In no case animals should suffer from pain. The health of animals should be maintained and regulated properly. When they are sacrificed, that is they when they are killed, they should be sacrificed oblique or killed by the method of euthanasia. That is the painless death. Now let's start with the classification of laboratory animals. The laboratory animals are classified into three types rodents, non rodents, and miscellaneous. First, rodents. The rodents are the animals which have a single pair of incisor that is the front teeth, which is continuously growing in both the jaws, upper as well as lower jaw. The rodents are small animals with a robust body which is having the small limbs and a long tail. Some common examples of rodents are rat, mouse, hamster, guinea pig, etc. Now, what is non-rodents? The non-rodents are the animals which does not have the characteristics of the rodents. And some common examples of non-rodents are rabbit, dog, cat, monkey, pig, etc. Now, what is miscellaneous? The miscellaneous animals are different from the rodents and non-rodents. The anatomy of the miscellaneous animals are different from rodent and non-rodent. The examples of the miscellaneous are frog, pigeon, fish, chicken, etc. Now let's start with the description of the animals. Our first animal is rat. Its biological name is Ratus norvegicus. Here are the picture of some rats. These rats are commonly known as Norway rats. The albino rats are commonly used in laboratory. They are easy to maintain and easy to handle. The lifespan of the rats are 2.5 to 3.5 years. The average adult weight of the male are 300 to 500 grams and that of the females are 250 to 300 grams. The heart rate of the rats are 30 to 480 beats per minute. Respiratory rate of the rats are 85 breaths per minute. The body temperature of the rats are 35.9 to 37.5 degrees Celsius, which is nearly equal to the room temperature. The blood volume of the rats are 50 to 70 ml per kg. The urine volume of the rats are 3.3 ml per 100 gram. The gestation period of the rats are 21 to 23 days. 
the stress cycle in the rats are for about four to five days the tidal volume of the rats are 1.5 ml and the daily food intake for the rats are 10 to 20 gram experimental uses of rats first psychopharmacological studies that is the rats are used in the study of pharmacological activities of the psychotropic drugs now second study of analgesics and the anticonvulsants that is the rats are used in the study of pain relievers that is analgesics and the anticonvulsant drugs now third biopsy of various hormones like insulin oxytocin vasopressins that is rats are used for the biopsy of these hormones so that we can get the better results now fourth study of stress cycle mating behavior and the lactation now fifth study on isolated tissue preparations like uterus stomach vas deferens and of oxygenous muscles that is the smooth muscles of cogenital part of males and the fundus strips aortic strips heart etc Sixth chronic study on blood pressure, seventh gastric acid secretion studies, eighth study of hepatotoxicity and anti-hepatotoxic studies, ninth acute and chronic toxicity studies, and tenth study on mast cell using peritoneal fluids and mesentric attachments. So the rats are used in this type of experiments, and it is very easy to do these experiments on the rats. The special features of the rats are as follows. First, they do not vomit. They do not have tonsils and gallbladders. They have diffuses pancreas. Fourth is caprophagy. That is the rat can eat their own fe feces or fecal material so that it can survive and fifth tail thermal regulation that is the animal regulate their thermal or their body temperature by the tails if we required blood of the rat to do some experiments we need to collect the blood there are two techniques for the blood collection first technique that is blood collection which does not require the anesthesia. In this, the blood is collected from the syphilis vein that is located in the limbs of the rat. And the second is the dorsal pedal vein. This vein is located in the toes of the rat from which the blood is collected. Now blood collection which requires the anesthesia. In this, the blood is collected from the vein which is located in the tail of the rat and second the orbital sinus that is the blood is collected from the eyes of the rat third the jugular vein this jugular vein is located near the trachea of the rat fourth the blood vessel cannulation that is the blood vessel of the rat is first cannulated and then the blood is taken from the rat. Now, the second animal which is used in the laboratory are mouse. Its biological name is Mus Musculus. Here are some pictures of the mouse, and its common name is laboratory mouse. Swiss albino mice is commonly used in the laboratory. They are small easy to maintain and easy to handle the lifespan of the mouse is one to three years old the average adult weight of the male mouse is a 20 to 30 gram and the weight of the female is of 18 to 35 gram the heart rate of the mouse is 310 to 840 beats per minute and its respiratory rate is 80 to 230 breaths per minute the body temperature of the mouse is 36.5 to 38 degrees Celsius. 
the blood volume of them house is 1.5 to 2.5 ml. Now the urine volume of the mouse is 0.5 to 1 ml per day. The gestation period for the mouse is of 19 to 21 days and the stress cycle for the mouse is there of 4 to 5 days. The tidal volume of the mouse is 0.1 to 0.23 ml and the daily food requirement or daily food intake of the mouse is 4 to 5 gram. The experimental use of mouse are as follows. First, toxicological studies. The mouse is used for the toxicological studies. Second, teratogenicity studies. Third, biopsy of insulin. Fourth, screening of analgesic and anticonvulsant. Fifth, screening of chemotherapeutic agents. Six studies related to genetics and cancer research. Now, if we need the blood of the mouse, we have to collect the blood from the following areas and which requires the anesthesia. First, tail vein that is, the blood is taken from the tail. Second, the tail snip tactic. This means that we have to cut the tail of the mouse and then the blood is collected third orbital sinus that is we have to collect the blood from the eyes of the mouse for jugular vein in this the blood is collected from the vein which is near to the trachea which is known as the jugular vein for the blood collection which does not require anesthesia in this as a Compared to the rats, they are the same one. That is the saphenous vein and the dorsal pedal vein. That is the vein from the legs and the vein from the toes. We have seen both the animals, rats and mice. Now we have to see the difference between rats and mice. The rats are much larger in size and has a greater body weight as compared to the mouse. The mouse has a pointed face as compared to the rat. The rat has a thick and heavy tail. The rat has a 22 pairs of chromosomes from which is higher than that of the mice. The rat has a larger gestation period as compared to the mice. This is the picture at form of the difference between rats and the mice which is same as seen earlier here we go with our third animal that is rabbit its biological name is orictolagus caniculus its picture is uh, shown now the common name of the rabbits is new zealand white rabbits rabbit is a docile animal with large ears Usually, New Zealand white rabbits are used in the laboratories. The lifespan of the rabbit is 4 to 6 years. The adult weight of the bucks, that is the male rabbit, is 4 to 5 kg, while the adult weight of the female, that is does, is 4.5 to 5.5 kg. Heart rate of the rabbits are 130 to 300 beats per minute, and the respiratory rate of the rabbits are 38 to 60 beats breaths per minute. The body temperature of the rabbits are 38.5 to 40 degrees Celsius. The blood volume of the rabbits are 4 to 8 percent of the body weight. The urine volume of the rabbits are 300 to 450 ml per day. The gestation period of the rabbits are 31 days and the tidal volume of the rabbits are 19 to 24 ml. Experimental usage of the rabbits are as follows. First, pyrogen testing. Second, bias of anti-diabetic cure from drugs and the sex hormones. Third, the screening of agents affecting the capillary permeability. Fourth, drugs used in glaucoma and fifth, pharmacokinetic studies of the drugs. Further, the experimental uses of the rabbits are sixth animal of choice 
that is the rabbits are the animal of choice for the cardiac studies the rabbits are used for the teratogenicity studies the rabbits are suitable for research on repro in, on reproductions the rabbits are used to study on meiotic and mydratics the special features of the rabbits are as follows first it has huge cecum and a long appendix the enzyme atropine acidase is present in rabbits third rabbits are very sensitive to histamine the ovulation is non spontaneous in the rabbit if we require the blood of the rabbit from where we can take the blood is collected from the marginal ear vein that is the preferred site for the blood collection in the rabbit then we can take the blood from the jugular vein then from the orbital sinus and by cardiac puncturing of anesthetized rabbit from where the blood is collected now let's go with our fourth animal that is guinea pig its biological name is cavia porcellus this is the picture of the guinea pig it is commonly known as laboratory guinea pig the guinea pig is a docile animal guinea pig is susceptible to the tuberculosis and the anaphylaxis the guinea pig is highly sensitive to histamine penicillin the guinea pig requires exogenous vitamin c in diet the lifespan of the guinea pig is 3 to 5 years the average adult weight of the guinea pig for the male is 900 to 1.2 kg or 1200 g and that of the female is 700 to 900 g the heart rate of the guinea pig is 260 to 400 beats per minute the respiratory rate of the guinea pig is 70 to 104 breaths per minute the body temperature of the guinea pig is 39 to 40 degrees celsius the blood volume of the guinea pig is 69 to 75 ml per kg the urine volume of the guinea pig is 3.5 to 4.5 ml per 100 g per day the gestation period of for the guinea pig is 68 days and the daily food intake for the guinea pig is 40 to 50 g the experimental uses of guinea pig are as follows first evolution of bronchodilators second anaphylactic and immunolog immunological studies third study of histamine and antihistamines because the guinea pig are sensitive to the histamine so that these studies are the specific studies for the guinea pig only fourth virus of digitalis fifth evolution of local anesthetics now the further experimental uses of the guinea pig are as follows sixth hearing experimental studies seventh isolated tissue especially for the ilium and heart the guinea pig is used eighth study on the tb ninth study on ascorbic acid metabolism because the guinea pig needed vitamin c for the blood sample collection the simple vein section of the marginal marginal ear vein of the guinea pig is taken to collect the blood second cardiac puncture and metatarsal vein of the anesthetized guinea pig is used to collect the blood from the guinea pig body let's go with our fifth animal that is hamster its biological name is mesocrectus auratus here are some images of the hamster its common name is golden hamster hamster have short body with short legs and short tail the skin of hamster is loose and covered with dense short soft fur the life span of the hamster is 2 to 3 years the adult weight of the male hamster is 85 to 110 g and that of the female hamster is 95 to 130 g the heart rate of the hamster is 250 to 500 beats per minute the respiratory rate of the hamster is 34 to 114 breaths per minute 
and the body temperature of the hamster is 36.1 to 38.9 degree Celsius. The blood volume of the hamster is 6.3 to 8.2 ml. The urine volume is 7 ml per day and the gestation period is 15 to 18 days. The experimental use of hamster are as follows. First, research in diabetes mellitus. Second, research which is related to virology, immunology and implantation studies. And third, bioassay of prostaglandis. Let's go with our sixth animal, that is frog. Its biological name is Rhina tigruina. Here are some images of the frog. Its common name is pond frogs. The frog is one of the most commonly used experimental animals used in physiology, pharmacology and toxicology. The frog is easily available in rainy seasons. The frog is very safe to handle. Adrenaline is the neurotransmitter in the system sympathetic system for the frog. The experimental usage of the frogs are as follows. First, study of isolated tissue such as rectus, abdominals, muscles and heart preparations. Second, study of drugs acting on central nervous system. Third, study of retinal toxicity on drugs. And fourth, study of drugs acting on neuromuscular junctions. Now let's go with our seventh animal that is cat. Its biological name is Felis catus. Here are some images of the cat. Its common name is house cat. The physiology of circulatory and neuromuscular system is very much similar to humans. The experimental uses of cat are as follows. Acute experiments for drugs affecting blood pressure are done on the cats. The biopsy of noradrenaline are done on the cats. Studies of ganglionic blockers are also done on the cats. Study of neuromuscular system are also done on the cats. And the toxic Toxicity studies of compounds like acetanilide are also carried on the cats only. Now let's go with our eighth and the last animal that is dog. Its biological name is Canis lupus familiaris. Its pictures are as follows. Its common name is domestic dogs. Dogs can be easily tamed and trained. It has small stomach and small intestinal tract, but it is just like the humans. Experimental usage of the dogs are as follows. Gastric acid secretion studies, acute experiment for drugs affecting blood pressure, intestinal movements, etc. Studies on anti-diabetic uh, drugs. And the fourth is pharmacokinetic studies. Thank you so much everyone for listening this presentation. I hope you get some knowledge from this presentation. Have a nice day. Goodbye.